Hello viewers, Ford DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to drill out a broken bolt and clean the threads out using a tap. This is one of the many methods for dealing with broken bolts. You can also weld a nut on, drill the center and use an extractor, grab the remaining stud from the backside using interlocking pliers, etc. I'm currently cleaning up the rear axle and unfortunately I did have a few bolts break. Being this is an Asian vehicle, fasteners tend to be a bit softer and it can break easier. Starting out with the first one, you may need to flatten out the surface. A file can be used for this when making the first center mark. This isn't always possible depending on where the bolt is broken. Considering this is a bracket which isn't very rigid, I placed a metal wedge in behind the bracket to prevent any flexing or vibration. Using a center punch, mark the center of the bolt. This can be sometimes tricky, especially if you're working in an awkward position. If the mark is off, angle the punch to push the center mark over. Now using a center drill. A smaller drill bit can also be used, but there may be too much flex, so you can risk breaking the bit or having it wander. A center drill is much more rigid, which allows for accuracy. A cutting oil or fluid does help with lubrication, keeping the bit cool and preventing it from burning out. Once that center has been made, move up to the correct size drill bit. You can use an indexing chart, which determines the size of drill bit required for the size of bolt used. This is where you'll need to know the bolt size. You can go with a slightly smaller bit to ensure you are centered. Left-handed drill bits can also be used. These would turn in a counterclockwise direction. Sometimes the force of these will help the remaining stud out. Using cutting oil again, drill the center of the broken bolt. Unfortunately, this can be tricky due to an awkward workspace and depending on the material, sometimes the drill will cut into the softer material first. Other words, it would be damaging the existing threads and not removing the bolt. Take your time when drilling and try to keep the drill square with the hole. If it starts to wander in one direction, you can push it over to the opposite direction or pull it over slightly. Be careful not to elongate the hole or break the drill bit when doing so. Apply more cutting oil as needed. As mentioned earlier, the cutting fluid keeps the bit cool and reduces the chance of burning it out, keeping it sharper for longer. Once done, when inspecting the hole, you can sometimes see the edge of the threads. Sometimes you may be able to use a chisel on the edge of the bolt if you've drilled off to one side to knock out the remaining part of it. Apply more cutting oil and using the correct tap which matches the existing threads, the hole can be cleaned up. Here I'm using a straight fluted plug tap because I don't have much room in behind the bracket. If I was working with a blind hole, a bottoming tap would be used, and that would be your best option. When using a tap, try to keep it square at the hole. You'll need to run it in slightly, then loosen it slightly, and then run it back in again and repeat as needed. This will help reduce any binding, apply more cutting fluid when needed, and don't force a tap as you can risk breaking it. Once done, the threads are good as new. Here's a comparison between an air and an electric corded drill. This will vary between models, but you can see a noticeable difference between the size. Therefore, the air drill can fit in tighter spaces. New videos released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to follow my social media pages such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to keep up to date with my latest projects. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.